Betty, I claim this place for the U.S. Army. You are no longer welcome here. Unless you want to sign up for the service. No, I didn't think so. Welcome back, everybody, to 789 Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I am Captain OG, also known as Old Guy Gaming. Uh, all right, so um, I'm bringing you back at nighttime because I got started, as you can see out there, um, raising the fence up of the place. So I'm going to keep um, working on that. Uh, I patched this hole here. I cleaned up all of the tall grass and weeds and plants and stuff around the yard. And all the crap and trash, and it's looking pretty good. Um, and I wanted to, I guess I need to get some cobblestone or concrete to fix that. <clears throat> um, I was going to fix the, the stove in here, and I could not find this stove in the creative menu. Um, the only thing that's in the creative menu is the, um, the wall ovens. So... Uh, and, I, and I made cabinets, cupboards, metal furniture, and wood furniture, and none of these items are a stove. Now, I can and will use these to repair the cupboards, um, or the cabinets, rather. So I wonder, too, if I... Can I just do a copy? Yeah. Oh. It still is an open version, though. We don't want, we want the closed version because the open version is um, broken. Well, we can't use it to store stuff, I guess is what I mean. So we can get rid of that and put this one in its place. And now we have a cupboard. So I'll do the same thing with these other cupboards that need to be repaired. But uh, I, I looked on um, the 7 Days to 9 Mod website and Jax Teller, who is also the author of of Ravenhurst, or, the, or at least the main developer of Ravenhurst, had a, has a mod that allows you to simply repair ovens, grills, and uh, something else with a hammer. Um, it's it, it's an Alpha 20 mod, so I, I loaded it up just to see if it works with Alpha 21, so let's do it and see what happens. Oh, we have, okay, that's right, we have to have a, a repair kit. There we go. Nice. Okay, I like this. So yeah, we can do grills, stoves, or wood stoves. So to make, those are the items that we need to make the wood stove. So let's grab that, that, some electricals, and some pipes. Okay, so we make that. I right, See, I'd much rather do it this way than, you know, spawn something in from the creative menu anyways, because then I'm actually repairing the stove, which is you know, what uh, Captain OG is supposed to be doing here. Okay, so while that's going on, we're going to need one, two, three more cabinets um, to uh, to repair. So let's make three more of those. All right, now I should be able to just right-click on this. Hey, look at that. And it, oh, right, look at that. And it actually turns it into a, a, a stove, too. That is cool, man. <laughs> I love it. Um, probably won't do anything if we put, uh, at least not visually, if we put those in there, but it will function. Oh, that's neat. Now, what we could do is we could just pretend that this is a gas stove because, you know, the propane tank's out there. And... I mean, there's no way OG can come up with propane, propane, but the army, you know, when they when they start to move in, they can bring propane with them. And we can assume maybe that there's a little bit of propane, um, you know, still left over in the tank. Cool. All right, so that means we don't need this here. So let's get rid of this. And um, now what we're going to do is fix the stoves. I think... I don't think I'm actually going to leave that chest there anyway, but let's 
Let's see if it'll stay there while I, we take this cat, uh, cupboard out. I think it will. Yeah, it will. Okay. And then what we'll do here is um, go to this menu. And we just want this cupboard here. No. Actually, this cabinet here. Okay, so that fixes that. And then we just basically need two more of these. But going that way. All right. Again, I think that laptop will stay there. I hope it will. I'm going to find out in a second here. Yep, it'll stay there. And the radio should also stay there. Excellent. Okay, so we have repaired the uh, the cabinets and the stove here in the ranger station. And uh, well, the other thing I wanted to do... is I wanted to also put in some storage, but I'm not 100% sure if we're going to do the Horde Knight again here. But the idea was that we would build some storage um, up along, you know, here, and we would use the... We would use these guys, the ones that have, like, the decals on them. Not the writables, but... Oh, you know what though? We ha I think we have to. I think we actually have to paint that. Right. So we'd have to paint that. So maybe writable storage would make more sense for us to do. We could put that up here, but there's just not very much room uh, here. Oh, you know what else I want to do? I wanted to. Can I make a bed, like an actual bed bed? I make a king size bed, but I. Yeah. See, we can't pick that up. Hmm. All right, well, let's let's try this then. Let's take this apart. And we we might have to go into the creative menu for this. Let's um let's just look in here real quick. Uh oh, and and as you can see, I did set up the um the work uh station here. Yeah, see, there's nothing in here that says anything about a, a normal bed. It's just the king-size bed or the bed roll. All right. Well, here, let's go back up here then again. And what we'll do is we'll go into the creative menu. And... That... These, wait a minute, were these, these must have been added by the, by the mod, because I, I searched on a stove in here before, and those, nothing was coming up. Yeah, see, it says JT for Jax Teller, so yeah, that was added by the mod. Okay, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna say, wait a minute, <laughs> I swear I looked at that. Okay, let's go to bed, and yeah, let's just grab one of these. There we go. And does that actually function? Oh, that does function as a bed. Except for we can't pick it back up again, though. Even with our land claim block down. How interesting. Okay, so what does the king-size bed cost to make? So what we'll do is... So this bed is half the size of the king size bed so so what we'll do is we'll just pay for it with half of these materials whenever we do this okay so that means oh yeah here let's put this stuff back in here for the moment no not you this is my farming and organic stuff chest um All right, so we're going to need 20 cloth. Cuz again, we're going to we're going to half this. Um we're going to need 20 cotton, I think. Oh shit. Okay, we're going to have to go out and get some more cotton. <laughs> Looks like we're going to need 10 springs. I've been wrenching cars and oh, and by the way, I um when I leveled again, 
I put one point into salvage ops. And that's probably all I'm going to put into that for, for the time being. All right, we're going to need 10 wood. Right, yeah, because that says 20. And five pipes. Okay, so all of this stuff here pays for that bed that we just pulled out of the creative menu. Except for that I need... How many cotton? Three cotton. Okay, yeah, so I need to, I need to go farm up 17 more cotton. And I'll do that. I'll do that later. I will do it, though. Because I don't like to give myself stuff for free. Um, okay, so... Cool. Now, I guess... I guess what we could do is... I mean, these storage cabinets don't have the same room that these do. But we could... I suppose we could use those. Or we could put in some more. I mean, there's all of this room up along in here. I think ideally, though, if I wasn't going to use this as a horde base, uh, it would make sense to put all that stuff down here because this is kind of like this, almost the storage cellar, if you will. So I'm going to leave... I'm going to leave this, the storage that's currently in here the way that it is right now uh, until I know for sure that we're not going to do another horde night here. And then what we'll do is we'll we'll set up storage down here. I mean, it's already got the shelves in place anyways. And um, sorry, my nose is a little, a little sniffly right at the moment. In fact, you know, we could... We'd actually remove this because now that I have level 3 parkour, I can just jump up to that other ladder. So let's get this out of the way. Okay. Um, okay. There we go. <laughs> just gotta hit it. Hit it just right. Yeah, so I think that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll build the, the big storage units. And we'll put them down below once we know for sure that we're not going to be doing, um, you know, any more Horde Knights underneath this particular base. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to leave the things the way they are for, for this base. This is still, quote unquote, our, our main base uh, for the moment or our main outpost. Uh, but that's not necessarily going to be that way. Uh, in fact, it, it's almost certainly not going to be that way for, the, you know, the entire uh, series here. Now, as far as my forge and my my workbench, what I'll probably do when we set out and 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 get out on the road is I'll probably pick both of these up and just take them with me, so I have them with me wherever I go um, to you know process materials for you know repairing the uh, the stations. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to cut the camera here. <laughs> I'm going to finish building this out, and then we're going to have to come up with a, some kind of a gate or something. Maybe just a... I suppose we could just do the double door. Do we even have gates? I mean, we do. We've got the... Oh, hold on a second. Don't we have, like, a... All right, let's try door. <laughs> yeah, we got the iron garage door. Or a roll-up door. Um, obviously they, they want to be able to drive vehicles in here, so I'll probably put either the garage door or maybe one of the roll-up doors, um, in this slot here. What is that? Oh, it's a deer. Where's my rifle? Um, oh, the other thing I was going to tell you guys, too, is that I thought I heard a zombo. Um, before nightfall uh, on the previous day, I've been doing a little digging there, I went out and about again trying to find that drop. And so I went all the way this far north and then kind of along these mountains over here, and I still did not see that drop. So 
the next logical place to go would be to the northwest to try and find, you know, the drop. All right, so I'm going to finish this wall, and then when the wall's finished, um, I think we're going to set out on the road and head to Ranger Station Charlie, the first Ranger Station we came to, and work on getting that fixed up uh, for the rest of this episode. So I will see you guys um, in just a little bit. Alright guys, uh, we got the wall finished and upgraded, and I, I put arrow slit blocks in here for now. Um, I might do something a little fancier, you know, we have we have uh, a lot more blocks now in Alpha 21. Um, but <clears throat> I, I went ahead and just went with the normal ones for now, and I can always change it for pretty easily later. Okay, so now what we want to do is let's go ahead and uh, just set this back to uh, normal blocks for the moment. And this is a one, two, three. Oh, you know what, though? <laughs> These uh, post blocks are going to create a gap there. That's not going to look good. So we're talking about a five wide um, opening if we remove these blocks. And here, let's... um. Let's go back to here for a minute. Okay, so we want a five by four. Or we could do a three by two. What's the cost of... So if we just did the iron garage door, that's 20... Forge, 20 spring, and 20 mechanicals. The five by four... Oh, that's cheaper. Really? I would have figured that'd be more expensive. Those are all powered doors there. <laughs> okay, well, um then yeah, let's do let's do this one here. So I just need to go get ten springs. Now, do I make that in my own inventory? No, we got to make that in here. There we go. And that'll take a minute and 52 seconds. All right, let's just take these back out then. Well, that puts a that puts a gap in there. But what we might be able to do, let's take these blocks back out, and I'm sure we can find something that will fit in there and that will look good. Um, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm using the blue stone hammer instead of the level one iron axe, uh, this is just as fast, maybe even a little bit faster. It uses way less stamina and is way cheaper to repair. So yeah, the level one axe, fire axe is, you know, kind of crap actually. At least, you know, with my level one minor 69er skill or perk. And, you know, this is not being reinforced to withstand a blood moon horde either, by the way. Um, it's just, but... It's tough enough to to keep, you know, uh, one one or two zombies at bay at a time, and even a wandering horde, as long as you deal with them right away. Okay, so I don't really want to put just a cube in there necessarily. What else might look good in there? If we go... Even if we just went with this, there's still a bit of a gap there but it kind of fits with the the log theme
We could also look at um, what would All right, I'm looking for a particular wedge block. I wonder what that would look like. Well, it covers the gaps. It's just the thing I don't like about those, everything else is round. Yeah, and those are square. <laughs> So it kind of it kind of feels out of place a little bit. All right, well, let's not think too hard about this. Let's just go with these. Um, well, you know, we can also actually make a a wood log. How thick is that wood log? That looks even better. But if we upgrade it, we can't upgrade it. How tough is it? It's 400 hit points versus five. Oh, wait. I forgot to upgrade that. Okay, so that's 500. That's 400. All right. I, I would go with this if it was 500 hit points, but it's weaker. So we're just going to go with these and upgrade them and call them good. Is it perfect? No. Will it work? Yep. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we are, for the most part anyways, finished repairing Ranger Station Delta here. Um, you know, I don't really have, at, at present anyways, I don't really have the resources to make paint. Um, in fact, don't I need a, chemi chemistry sh a chemistry station for that anyway? Oh, no, I guess we can make it in the campfire. Oh, yeah, I'm not at the point where I want to use water for paint. Oh, it's the same It's the same um, quantity of ingredients, so I guess it doesn't matter. And it takes the same amount of time, too. How interesting. So we're not going to worry about paint right now. We're just going to, you know, fix these up structurally. And maybe later on, you know, as we advance in the game... Um, and have more resources uh, we will include some painting too but and we might even come back here to ranger station delta and do some painting here later but uh, for now i'm pretty happy with uh with how everything has come together and is repaired we were able to fix the stove and it works and that's really cool we put a real bed down oh i need to go pick uh, what was it 17 more pieces of cotton to pay for that sucker so we can do that and yeah so i think we're uh, gonna call Ranger Station Delta fixed up and good to go. Um, oh, we need to repair that. We need an electrical and a plastic. We must have accidentally whacked our radio there. It looks like the, the laptop is still good. Oh, the other thing too is the storage, like I talked about. Um, we'll put some storage down here too uh, if we don't do another horde night here. So, okay. Very good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and we're going to go pick up our workstation and our, our workbench and our forge and take it with us. And um, I'll have to set down a new land claim block, you know, back at Ranger Station Charlie. It might even have repops, but I mean, we can, we'll be able to kill them very easily this time around. And we'll just keep, you know, take these with us. Maybe later on down the road when we're, you know, when we have lots of resources, um, you know, we'll just, we, we can make one for each place, but I can't afford to do that right now. So, oh crap. Empty as in empty. Okay. Maybe forges we will have to build. They're not that expensive. Okay. Yeah. So we'll take the workstation with us, but we'll, we'll build forges. Um, you know what? We should, we probably should fix that cabinet there too, huh? I just need some nails. We can handle that. Yeah, it's not, it's not too expensive to build a forge. So we'll just take a forge, uh, or build a new forge for, um, the other stations, but we're, we're going to carry our workbench with us for now. 
and I know that seems kind of unrealistic, but let's just let's think of it as just a big toolbox that we figure out a way to strap onto the back of the bicycle. <laughs> okay, we'll craft one of those. Let's get rid of this. Everything else is in pretty good shape in here overall. Copy shape, copy rotation, boom, there. So those can be some extra cupboards to put, um, you know, forge materials or tools and things like that. Very good. All right, so what do we want to take with us? We're going to set these back to normal blocks here. So we're going to want, you know, I should actually be wearing these when I'm doing all this building for the extra XP bonus. Um, we're going to want to build another forge now while I have all of this stuff here. Whoops. So let's do that. We'll just keep it on our inventory. So we need cobblestone. We need to make another log. Need tin leather, duct tape, and pipes. Okay. So we're going to take some nails with us, and let's just take all the cobble with us because that's easy to, to do. Um, we'll take some leather with us. We can get clay, sand, all that stuff. We can just get out there. Um, I'm going to take some... Let's just... I don't know. I don't know what we would use or, or need glue specifically for. Oh, that's right. I was going to make myself... Um, we can make a blue pipe machine gun. Because we're so low on 7.62. So, wait, not blue... Pipe. Yeah, let's make that because uh, we got 762 ammo. We got two full stacks and then some, and we'll save our nines for just using the pistol until we can get some more 9 mil ammo. Excellent. Okay. So we'll take, um, well, you know what? We don't need to take nails with us because we can just make nails in the forge while we're there. Um,. We should probably take some cloth with us, so yeah, we'll take a half a stack of cloth and maybe some, we'll make tin duct tape out of this. Um, do I have any other gun mods in here? I don't think I do. So we might just actually store the MP5 for now until, like I said, I can I can come across um, some more ammo. All right, so let's mod this. If we put this in, yeah, it only reduces it by. Oh. Zulu Tango Foxtrot brought us another drop. All right, so we should be able to find this one. Uh, which direction am I pointing? Okay, so I'm guessing that it's probably definitely going to land on the other side of the road. So it's probably going to be somewhere up in this area. No, I think we need to move that over. More like this. That's pretty darn close. Okay. Yeah, we should we should have no trouble finding that. <laughs> the famous last words, right? Hopefully we'll have no trouble finding it. Very good. 
Okay, so anyway, um, the <laughs> look at the cat on the end of that. That is just awesome. Uh, okay, so we will use this uh, for the time being um, as our automatic weapon. And we want to make sure we're bringing all of our repair kits. We have 11 of those. Uh, the dirt we can easily make there, so let's leave that there. I will take these extra cobblestone blocks, though, because we we may need cobblestone for what we're doing. Uh, we can get iron while we're there. I don't know. Would we need plastic for anything? Maybe. We need the plastic to repair this radio. Of course, plastic's pretty fairly easy to get come by. We'll take a, some electronic parts and some... Uh, mechanical parts too, just in case we need them for something. Because, you know, we're going to be way out in the boonies at um, Ranger Station Charlie. There is nothing out there except for a couple of other POIs, I guess, that are nearby. Okay, let's put this on here. And I think we're ready to go, except for that we are going to go get that airdrop first. And we're actually going to want those on for the airdrop. These we're going to stop off and sell at the trader. Okay, so we have a full stack of red tea, full stack of bacon and eggs. Um, we're going to take a grill with us and uh, one of those. And there, there is a stove and a refrigerator there. Hmm. Well, I don't think... Are there refrigerators in here? Refridge. Yes. Okay, so for a refrigerator repair, we can just pull something out of the out of the uh, whatever this menu is called, the creative menu. Um, but but we'll still pay for it. You know, we'll we'll expend resources to pay for it. <laughs> oh, I know what I was gonna do. Um, let's drink up and eat up. So we're at full hydration and food before we set out cuz we might uh, we'll probably be spending the night there I'm guessing and I wanted to make another land claim block but you know what we can do that when we get there that's easy enough to do I'm not going to take all of our hide we can get you know stone easy there so, all right, well, I guess that's all. I think that's all we're going to need. So, let's go get this um, airdrop. Do I have anything in here? A couple of splints, okay. And then we'll stop off at Rex. Actually, let's stop off at Rex first because it's right along the way. And then we'll head to Ranger Station Charlie. All right, I was going to make another stove repair kit. I'm pretty sure that place had a kitchen with a with an electric stove. So let me run back to the base real quick and, and make this kit so we have it with us. Oh, Rex inventory has a reset today too. What's your problem? Let's sell him this. All right, let's see what he has here. This P volume six. That's armor piercing. You know, we should probably. We should probably set up a dew collector at each of these stations too. Um, because we might actually, in fact you know, need water if we're going there later on as an outpost for ourselves. Um, we can certainly afford it. Um, let's see what else he's got first before we do that, though. Look at that, man. A green tactical assault rifle. 
If we did a few more jobs for him, we could afford that. 14,000 Yelchers. Okay, um, yeah, I think we should set up a dew collector at each of these locations. All that damn gawking at goods it makes sense you buy. to do that, you know. Um, and we have everything. Oh, we need a hundred plastic. Yeah, okay, I guess we're gonna have to go back and get plastic. That's that's actually, well, I mean, the filter is the most expensive thing, of course, but the plastic is a hundred plastics, a lot of plastic. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go get the airdrop. And we're, you know, we may need to go back to our base to drop some, some stuff off anyways, and then I'll, I'll make sure I grab a hundred plastic too. Yeah, I mean, we should keep that, that green AR, um, in mind. Okay, so it should be fairly close in this vicinity. There it is. All right, good. Zulu Tango Foxtrot's going to be happy we didn't lose the second drop. And, you know, we'll probably eventually find the, the first one, too. Okay, we got our luckies on, right? Let's double check. Yes, we do. Okay. Give us something good, game. Pipe rifle bundle. Uh, that's kind of lame. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, let's see what we get here. Okay, well, two rifle magazines aren't that bad. Two bow magazines are not that bad. And two handguns. So we can make quality. Okay, so we can now make the same quality of bow that we currently have. <laughs> not that we will. Um, all right, let's see what's in here. Three more magazines. Okay. I mean, that's not terrible, I suppose. Um, and did we get more 7.62s also? Okay, so we can make quality one hunting rifle now. That's good. Um, is this better than what we have? No, they're the same. Okay, so we'll just turn around and sell that right back to Wrecked again. Eh, forget that stuff. Okay, let's go back to the base, drop some of this stuff off, sell this extra rifle to Wrecked. Grab a hundred plastic so we can make a dew collector, and then we will head to Ranger Station Charlie. Um, if we don't get moving fairly soon, though, <laughs> we're not going to get there before dark. Uh, and I'd kind of like to get there before dark, so we'll see what we can do. I mean, if we get stuck out in the woods at night, it wouldn't be the first time. We're a ranger. We can handle it. Welcome to Trader Joe's. I don't guarantee a thing, except that I don't like you. Man, we didn't get a whole lot for that, but it's something, I suppose. Cha-ching! Thanks, buddy. Let's just grab all the plastic out of here and make the dew collector straight up. We're going to do another topper on our food and drink. Uh... Okay, let's put the ski goggles on for the trip out there. And then we'll put the nerdies on when we start doing the building and the upgrading in particular. That's really where we make XP. Oh, speaking of which, um, <coughs> I think we have a point. Yeah, we do. All right, so agility. What are we going to do next? Run and gun. Can we do run and gun? Not yet. We can do light armor. Um... Yeah, I think that's the next one in line. And then we'll have to start pumping agility itself. We got to get it to seven to get Whirlwind too. And to get a run and gun three. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we are going all the way back here. What I think we'll do is we'll put a marker right at that road.
Uh, yeah, okay. So 2.6 clicks. Let's do it. Alright, this is that POI that has the collapsing floor. And then you fall down into there. Um. But, we're not gonna fall for that trick. Check this pickup truck here. There we go. We got ourselves an upgrade. Look at that. All right, let's uh, pull those off of there. Scrap this, repair this. Okay, let's keep moving, we're almost there. We might have to go up and see uh, what's up that road and maybe down that way uh, later. All right. We are back at uh, Ranger Ch uh, Station Charlie. She's inside. Let's deal with her. Betty, I claim this place for the U.S. Army. You are no longer welcome here. Unless you want to sign up for the service. No, I didn't think so. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. We didn't loot this. All right. So, um... The outer gate, or fence, I guess, is actually in very good condition. Looks like the razor wire is good all the way around, so we don't really need to do anything um, on the fence. The fence is good. We're just going to clean up some of the trash around here. Mow the lawn make sure that uh we'll wrench this truck and get it out of there and then make sure that everything in here will wrench all of this stuff because it's not functioning and fix this stove let's do the stove first i love that okay and then these will permanently stay here so when the soldiers they come after us to get here, they uh, will have the ability to make some food. We'll keep those chairs there. These bunks are in pretty good shape, so we'll, those can stay there. We'll have to replace that cabinet and these broken ones. But yeah, this place is actually not, not in too bad a shape, uh, all things considered. There's a cupboard there that we'll, we'll replace. So I think the plan is... Uh, yeah, all of this out here will will fix up. So I think the plan, guys, is uh, we'll, for the next episode, we'll get everything fixed up here. Yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of work up on top of the tower there, too. We'll get everything fixed up here, and then we'll probably go ahead and hit some of these wilderness POIs on our way back, um, just because it's not likely that we'll get out this way again for the rest of this playthrough. So, with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go here, and we will start the restoration and repairing and whatnot of this place in the next episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. 
And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. There's a zombie out here. We need to poke in the eye with a sharp knife. You. Oh. He poked us in the eye. She did.